and, and uh, I highly recommend the series. It, it no, I'm I'm on uh, episode five currently, and it's I love it. I think it's probably one of the best series Marvels come out with. Um, it's yeah, I'm on twelve. I got one more. I'm I'm I just started twelve, so I've got two episodes left. <laughs> I, I'm in the middle of Gotham, and once this came out, the reason why I'm in the middle of Gotham is because Infinity or, or Xfinity or whatever cable company decides to give you episodes one, three, seven, eight, nine. So I had to wait until Netflix dropped all of them, and now I have to catch up to get to season three of Gotham. So now I'm like, and people are like, oh, Luke Cage, and I'm like, fuck. Because I really want to watch Luke Cage. I would, I would actually tell you stop wasting your time on Gotham. I'm starting and to and just yeah. watch Luke Cage. And if you haven't seen Jessica Jones and Daredevil, oh then yes, I have. Watch, watch those first. Yes, I, I tell people all the time because people, people kind of sleep on Jessica Jones, and I, I just admit, think I it was. I told people I'm like, watch it; it's amazing. They're like, I don't know who she is. I'm like, doesn't matter. Just watch it. You're gonna. Oh, it was amazing. It. I actually, I actually, if I really, really had to pick one, I might actually say that the Jessica Jones series was my favorite, even more than the first season of Daredevil, and I mm. loved that. Yeah, so it was great. Uh, I there was just some. Jessica Jones was, was just something about that show. What's that name? Was so good as uh, yeah, she was. Oh my god! What's what's the villain's name? Um, Purple Man. Purple Man. Purple Man. Purple Man. Yeah, that's his name. What? Purple Man. I swear, that's no, what his name. The, no, Man. the 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 guy who could just tell you what to do and you do it. Yeah, it's Purple Man. I swear to God, that's his name. Purple Man. They didn't On say the show, it. Show his name was Purple Man. Well, that's what uh, he's supposed to be. Purple Man. No, but he had a name on the show. Oh crap! You're gonna and I just can't remember it. It's um, making me nuts. But uh, I, I have carpal anyway. tunnel. I can't do anything. See, if only if can. only there was a device. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it, that's <sort> of... <laughs> oh, you uh, smart ass! I love. And he's you. been anyway. telling he's been telling me to watch Jessica Jones for like months, and uh, I've just been yeah. kind of sitting on it. But I have to say, Chuck, uh, I wasn't going to, but now that Scott Ian told me, oh, I had thank to, you. I had to watch Jessica Jones. You I'm gonna rat do it, bastard. Um, well, you have to even even for, uh, uh, look. It's a great show, but it also it, it introduces Luke Cage. Yes, it does. Hmm. Yes, See that? I didn't does. know. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. And it's all you know. It's all it's all leading up to the Defenders. Yeah. All these shows they got they got Iron Fist coming next, and then it's all leading up to the Defenders series, which that that's going to be awesome. Let me tell you something. Marvel is doing it right. DC is not. Marvel is doing it right with everything they do, knocking it out of the park. DC, I don't know what they're trying to do, but I don't think it's working. Yeah, the, 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 look, I, I'm not a fan of all the Marvel movies. I, I like some. Like my favorite Marvel movie is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Oh, that That's was my yes. That was fun in a box. It, it was I, awesome. I can't even. I I mean, I hated the second Avengers and the first Avengers. Even I just thought it was okay. I was. I think the Captain America movies actually are the best Marvel movies. Oh yes, um, absolutely. And, and then it's a big drop off for me after that. Um, but the Netflix series, all three of them that they've done, to me, uh, heads and shoulders better than anything they've done cinematically. Like, I, I think their series on Netflix are amazing. And all that being said, yes, even DC doesn't even come close to what Marvel's doing with the movies. Like, it, that, I finally watched Batman vs. Superman, and it's like, oh my God, it's the biggest three hour waste of my life I, and i just kept i mean i look i i like ben affleck as batman didn't bother me at all i loved wonder woman but there's just no story it, like three hours of bullshit there's so many holes in that movie just yeah like, it's just well, thrown I, couldn't, together. I couldn't take i couldn't take that dude as lex luther for oh one thank second. you just, thank you thank uh, you thank you i've been trying to tell people and they're like no uh jeff whatever his name Jesse is is great Eisenberg. yeah him when he started going ooh, 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 i was like why are you trying to be the joker why are you trying to yeah, be a jackass that's not lex yeah, luthor terrible it terrible, was awful terrible. and and in fact when you said that i looked at eric eric gave me the finger because i hated man of steel i thought it was a wet blanket of a movie and then you know i looked at him again with which I actually thought that Batman and Robin was oak. I mean, not Bat. Jesus Christ, shoot me in Batman, the head. Batman, Superman. Batman, Superman. <laughs> I'm going to therapy for Batman and Robin. Anyway, so um, no, but I, I really did not like the orc-like thing that was uh, Doomsday. I mean, he he was li literally taken from Lord of the Rings, put in the movie, and gave him. Yeah, yeah. It was just that was such lazy CGI. That whole oh thing. Oh God, it was, like, it was terrible. Well, it's almost like, well, we run out of money. Just like put paste something together really quick. Like, 
I don't know. I, I'm just not, I'm personally, I'm not a fan of Zack Snyder's movies since I liked 300 and then nothing after that. So wow. um, I'm, I like I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping now with the, with this change of the regime over there that maybe moving forward, things are going to be better. I have high hopes for the Wonder Woman movie. I hope it's good. And, and I think, uh, and I, and I think moving forward, the movie that Ben Affleck is directing his Batman movie, that will probably be great. So, you know, let's see. Let's, yeah. let's hope. I still think that Wonder Woman needs a, a sandwich. She's too skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. So, so what's next in the cards for uh, Anthrax? What, what, uh, what we're you guys just got touring, coming touring, 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 all, all till the end of the next year, basically. So you're just, you're just plowing through shows and stuff. And I, I saw, see you got a, a couple um, smaller festivals coming up again. Uh, you have the uh, Monster Energy Aftershock Fest. Uh, you're playing with Tool, Primus, Corn. You know, seven yep. dust. Uh, I know you probably played with all those guys multiple, multiple, multiple times. But uh, who are you most excited to play with? I don't. I don't really pay attention. I, I probably won't get to see anybody. Um, yeah, because you so, have stuff to do. I, I'll, I'll probably be the. Actually, I'll, I already know because my family's coming to that show, and we'll probably be taken off soon after we play. So nice. I won't even see anyone that day. We did, when we just played in uh, in Louisville at a festival over the weekend. Though Cheap Trick was on the bill with us and. It was one of the few times where we actually got to see a band that we really wanted to see. So that was that was great. Cheap Trick's always good, dude. That's a dream. That's another one on my bucket list to go see. Cheap Trick, yeah, Rick Nielsen and the, and them. They're great, Scott. It has been an absolute and utter pleasure to be talking with you. Um, and honestly, uh, I love you even more. Uh, uh, you're a huge comic book nerd and a horror fan, uh, which I would have. I, I never thought cool. I'd be sitting Thank here you. having a conver- uh, comic book conversation with Scott Ian. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty badass. Better than talking about music. <laughs> I I agree. So anytime you want to call and just you know be like, I can't believe they did that with Jessica Jones. You could do that anytime, sir. Right. I will give you my number. You, right. We could we could totally you know dish. All right, cool. all right, everyone. Scotty, and thank you. Thank you, You're Scott. The man. Cheers. Thank you.